a simple trick you can do with Photoshop in about three clicks, one for each window, and then set the layer mixing. Welcome to another Bonpai video and my name is Art. And yes, I know I did a poll a few weeks ago and had you vote on the next AE86 video, but I'm still working on that with research. And during this research, I encountered a couple of things in these overseas brochures that I would like to share with you. And you know, back in the 1980s, editing of photos was still manual labor, etching on negatives, blurring your own photos with your own bare hands, you know, stuff like that that's very difficult to do. And naturally, um, these edits weren't up to par with what we can achieve today with simple programs like MS Paint. And that's why I made this short video where I'm sharing these AE86 oddities and also teasing you a bit for the things that are about to come. So first of all, I own this Swiss Corolla 1600 Coupe GTI brochure from 1985. And as I was scanning for the sports package parts, my attention was drawn to the hatch of this three-door pre-facelift A86. That GT Twin Cam 16 decal is so large it almost touches the trunk lock. And that's definitely bad photo editing. Here's for comparison a real pre-facelift A86 where the decal size is original. The second example is actually on the cover of this finished Corolla Coupe GT Twin Cam 16 brochure from 1983. The cover has a hilariously bad two-door A86 pasted over the engine bay. The windows clearly reflect the blue sky, while the engine bay isn't visible through the windows. A simple trick you can do with Photoshop in about three clicks, one for each window, and then set the layer mixing. That's how far we have advanced with software over the past 40 years. The third example is inside this Austrian brochure. On the inside they display a three-door A86, but apparently the seats didn't match the sport seats that were standard in Austria. So someone took a black felt marker and made the shape of the seats slightly larger. However, the contours now don't match the sport seats either. Given the small size of this photo, I'll just forgive them. The last brochure isn't a photo editing error, but it's just things that are inconsistent in this Dutch pre-facelift brochure. The A86 is featured on two double pages in this generic Corolla E80 brochure, and on the first of the two double pages, the car has been displayed with standard seats, even though the bootlet decal says it's a GT Twin Cam 16. This is because this photo actually belongs to the Finnish pre-facelift brochure that I showed before which also features a two-door A86 in gold. In Finland, these seats were standard on the GT Twin Cam 16, but also included very different rear seats. Basically, the Finnish interior is the same as the Japanese GT trim level. But that's not the end of the inconsistencies inside this brochure. On the second of the double pages in this brochure, the correct GT seats are displayed, but also this GT Twin Cam 16 boot decal. And you may wonder what's wrong with that? Well, actually, the taillights below the decal belong to a three-door hatchback instead of a two-door, which actually belongs to the gold A86 in the pre-facelift Austrian brochure. And what do you know? It features the exact same background as the finish in the Dutch brochure. And even better, if we include this Australian Sprinter brochure in the mix, we can see the same building in the background of all four of them and the exact same window frames, the exact same corner, the exact same stone floor below the A86. Most likely, shortly before the launch of the A86, Toyota Japan made a couple of pre-production example models. These cars were then displayed in a nice surrounding for a photo shoot. These photos were then made available as a large set of standard photos, including these two and three door A86s in gold. Presumably, the three-door featured the GT Apex trim level, while the two-door featured the GT trim level. Toyota in the Netherlands predominantly sold two-door models with the Apex Twin Cam 16 interior. Now, that's why the Dutch brochure became a mix and match of these standard photos. That's it for this teaser video, and I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. And I'll continue to work in the background on the A86 sports package video, 
and I hope to see you soon. Ba 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 